Hi, you're with Tesla Tom, and thank you for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today, I'm going to show how you can get your Powerwall 2 to charge using the grid. Now, you might be asking why on earth would I be wanting to do that? Well, this only works if you have a time of use plan uh, from your energy provider. Just say, for example, you've got solar panels and you've got a few rainy days coming up that you know you're not going to get much charge from. Uh, then you can use your off-peak electricity to charge the Powerwall 2 at a much cheaper rate and then use the Powerwall 2 uh, at a time of day when the electricity rates are higher. The other scenario is where if you've got a Powerwall 2 and you don't have solar panels, then you can certainly use that option to charge at off-peak rates and then once again use it during the peak times when electricity is expensive. Now how do you do this? Well, let me show you. I'm going to put it up on the screen behind me. Just uh, then you can follow along with what I'm doing. Now, all you have to do is go to your Powerwall 2 app. Um, the easiest way to do this is to go to Customize, and then you'll see something called Self Powered, which is the second option. Click Self Powered or press Self Powered, and all you have to do is go back to your uh, main screen, see what percentage you're currently at with the Powerwall 2. So, for example, my Powerwall 2 is at 39%. Uh, I will go back to customize and then I'm going to set a rate that is higher than 39%. It really is that easy. Just for example, I'm going to set it at 50% and uh, you will see in my uh, the next thing I'll show you is that the Powerwall 2 is being charged by the grid. Now the only caveat to this is that the Powerwall 2 and the app is not very responsive. Any changes you make on the app is going to take half an hour or 30 minutes for it to, to, to comply or for it to take effect. So uh, don't fret if it's not working for the first time, you try this at home. Uh, give it 30 minutes at least and then you'll see that um, the Powerwall 2 will start to be charged by the grid. So the example I'll show you now is something I prepared last night when my electricity rate was low. Uh, as you can see the Powerwall 2 is charging at 1.7 kilowatts. Now that's the highest I can get it using, my, um, using the grid to charge my Powerwall 2. Uh, as you can see that uh, is how you get the grid to charge your Powerwall 2. Useful if, you, if one, you have some rainy days coming up and you know the sun is not going to do much uh, because it won't be out in, on those rainy and cloudy days. Or two, if you've bought a Powerwall 2 without solar panels, then you can charge it during your uh, off-peak times to use during peak hours. Uh, I'm going to try and do a video on the app itself and the different functions. It has recently had an update, um, uh, which also makes it a little bit easier to, um, to charge your Powerwall 2 at off peak times. All right, well, thank you for watching and uh, hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope it's a nice day where you are. Uh, and as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging.